There's this one aspect of my YouTube channel that keeps me up at night. I could never find a way to share with you in real time what's going on. For example, yesterday I talked about this new system and this is something that I'll be working on for days, maybe weeks, and I would love to share the progress, how my brain works, how I figure out things. But this is all personal information. And there's also another problem. I usually figure, in fact, this is not a problem. This is exactly what I would like to share with you. I usually figure out things as I go, because what I'm constantly looking for is a way to make the system output the correct information when I need that information. And to do that, I have to create a system and I also have to work with the software limitations. And in fact, that's how I work with my clients too. I usually tell them to explain how their workflows work, not usually, always. It's interesting that people are constantly looking for a software, uh, a product as a solution, and that's not the solution. Uh, my clients, they, they usually, when I, when I ask them to, to talk about their workflows, they usually say, oh, I do this on Evernote, or I do that on Trello, this on Obsidian. I don't want to know how they use Obsidian or Evernote or Trello or whatever it is. I want to understand how they work, how they do things. So what I usually reply with, forget the software for a moment. Just tell me, forget that you use software. How would you do it without software? And that's exactly the point. You have to understand your system and work with the software limitations. Anyway, <laughs> I sat down here to work on my system and I thought this is a good opportunity to share some of it with you. Uh, I'll share my real account, but lower your expectations there because I removed everything, almost everything from the notebooks. Uh, I, I want to show you what, I, what I'm thinking and what I, and, and, and this is, this evolved very fast from yesterday to today. A lot of ideas came to mind as I was building it. So don't think I came up with this in five minutes or 10 minutes. This has been evolving from, from the very beginning, even from before yesterday. But yesterday was when I started putting uh, the, the system together here on Evernote. Okay, let's take a look at it. This is how my Evernote is looking like right now. This is my Rio account. Like I told you yesterday, I have here the legacy notebooks and I'm gradually moving things into the other notebooks. Now, this other notebooks here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six I mean seven, I'm not counting the timeline. They are what I call backlogs. This is a place that I need to capture ideas. For example, if we click here, I have some ideas for today's video. I need this space and that's why here on my phone, I set the Evernote app to always open on my shortcuts and also to have the shortcuts on the nav bar. And as you can see here, not all the notebooks are set as shortcuts because not all of them are backlogs. For example, family and payments are mostly for tasks. If you haven't, uh, go watch this other video. This is the system I use for tasks. I tweak it a little bit. It's a, a little bit different now, but the, the basic idea is still there. And by the way, I'm trying to use uh, all the Evernote features to help me with this uh, not organizing idea. And I forgot to mention one thing. I ended up deciding to go with the tags. I need the tags. There's no way I'm going to be comfortable enough to move everything to, to this timeline and not add the tags. So what I'm doing is Let's, let's go back to the system. So this notebooks, they are working as a backlog. I space for ideas, so it's easy. When I open my app, I can 
uh, go to the YouTube notebook and add that idea. But they are also working as a work in progress. It's a space for work in progress. So everything that is inside, with the exception of family and payments, everything that is inside these notebooks are things that I'm working on or would like to work on. Shopping is a space where I'm adding shopping, grocery lists, and also projects. Most of my projects, woodworking projects or whatever is the project, will need some shopping so I can create a note and add the items and the ideas. And when that's done, again, move it to the timeline notebook. And this is where the tags are also helping me. As you can see here, I added the YouTube tag to this node, and this will help me filter this information when I move it to the timeline uh, notebook. And this backlog and work in progress space was always important to me. It is very important. And that's why I always create something inside a specific notebook. And what I'm trying to do here is when something it's not a, a project, something that I'm not, it's not a work in progress. For example, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but it's something I always wanted to do and I never did. Uh, I'm taking my temperature every day. I'll do it for a week or I don't know. I want to know what is my real temperature because when we have a fever, if it's better if I can compare that to my real daily temperature instead of a random number that is an average of everybody else's temperature. So that doesn't have to be a uh, work in progress or a backlog. I can add that to the timeline and I can add the tag health. And by the way, the fact that I have this very well established naming system, tags naming system, in my brain, <laughs> this has been evolving for so many years. Uh, I think that's why this will help. For example, there, this, the temperature is health. That's it. it. That's my tag. It always has been my tag. I have the YouTube tag. I have the, the shopping tag, clients tag. All these tags are very well established. So I never think about it. I just tag the notes. Now, if you are an agile enthusiast, you are there thinking that I'm crazy to put the backlog and the work in progress inside the same notebook. That only works because I'm the only one doing the work. Uh, I can easily look at some notes and tell if they are ideas or if I'm working on them. I don't need to complicate things. I don't need to create another step, another notebook, because this notebook is going to be pretty empty all the time with very few notes. Every time something is completed, something is done, I can move that to the timeline. So that's why the only reason this uh, will work. If I had other people working with me, this would never work. Uh, as a matter of fact, Many of these notebooks here weren't in use. I would usually have something like YouTube, YouTube Whip, YouTube Archive, or collaborations, collaborations in progress, something like that. If you go back to the old videos, you see many of those uh, ideas. I tried so many things while I kept these notebooks hibernating, and now it's finally time to bring them back to life. Now, uh, Fernando left a comment on yesterday's video about moving things uh, around. Today, there is a limit. You can only move uh, up to a hundred notes from one notebook to another. That's a system limitation that we have to work with. I don't like it because in a situation like this, it would be much easier to move, I don't know, a thousand notes uh, per notebook, but believe me, that's a good thing. Back in the day when it was possible to move unlimited number of notes from one notebook to another, I heard so 
many stories of people losing notes or notes being corrupted. What happens is people are not patient. And if you are moving a thousand notes from one notebook to another, the system has to update everything, the database, uh, the new notebook, and then suddenly the person move that and, oh no, I don't want this other notes in this notebook. I want to move this ones that I just moved to this other notebook. So can you imagine the mass, the system having to keep up with all that? So I would always advise people to do it batch by batch, move, I don't know, 200, 300, and then wait for that to synchronize, move another part and, and so on and so forth. Today there is this 100 note limit. I don't know why it is there, if it is some uh, limitation, technical limitation, I don't know why, but I think it's a good thing. So that's why I think this is gonna take a while, but it's a good opportunity to take a look at the notes, the notebooks and move slowly, move the notes slowly to their new home the timeline, check the tags, check everything, and slowly move, gradually move everything to the new space. The family notebook also has the documents note. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go watch this video. And keep in mind that just like the tasks video, things changed, but the core idea is still the same. And now I'm using a new feature. I'm tagging, not tagging, uh, uh, pinning the note to the top of the family notebook, the documents note to the top of the notebook. And I also added that note to the, to the shortcuts. So I can easily tap there and access that information as, as if you watch the other video, I, I, I'm constantly going to this note. I'm constantly looking for information. So having it on the shortcuts will give me quick access here and also quick access on my mobile phone. And I also added, this was how it was before. I also not added, kept it, kept it as a, a pen note on my Evernote. Huh. Another thing I'm planning to rely on is the calendar. Of course, I was already using the calendar to link my meetings, my collaboration meetings, my client meetings with the calendar, but maybe I'll start using the Evernote calendar. If you don't know what, what the difference is, please go watch this other video to understand what is the Evernote calendar. So maybe I'll start using the Evernote calendar to link uh, notes related to the publication of the videos. I don't know if that's something that I, I need, but sometimes uh, I need to go back and find uh, information about a, a video I was working on or something I was working on. I don't, I'm not sure yet if I'll do that, but that's another possibility. So that's another uh, system feature that I try to connect to a need, a specific need I have. But again, I'm not sure if I'll do that. It's it's there, it's possible. Maybe I'll use it, maybe not. Okay, now that you know all that, I'll go back to what I sat down here to do, which is organize all this. But please let me know if this is a kind of video that you would like to see more here. It's, again, it's really hard to share this. I feel like I'm talking a lot and showing almost nothing. But I don't know, I always wanted to do this. I always wanted to share the progress and maybe I'll figure out a way to, to show you more as I go. Please let me know if this is something that you are interested in. Thanks for watching. See you soon.